What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Buster Bookie Show. Today is Sunday, October 6th. We're going over our best plays in the WNBA. We're back with our guy, LB. Catch him on Twitter at LB underscore PRA underscore locks. And join his VIP for only $5 a month if you use code BYB. Giving a special discount to our viewers out there. So take advantage of it. He will give us some plays here on the show. But if you want his absolute best plays, you do have to join his VIP. If this is your first time here, where have you been? This is the best sports betting channel out there because we not only give you our top plays and predictions, we also give you the opportunity to win some money. On most of our shows, we have three plays. We will do a $20 giveaway. On a lot of our shows, we do four plays. We will do a $40 giveaway. On this show, we've only got two plays, but you know, I got to do some sort of giveaway, LB, so I will do a $10 giveaway. I know it's not much, but it's better than anybody else is doing out there. So if you want to qualify for the $10 giveaway, all that you need to do, number one, subscribe to the channel, hit it right now. Number two, comment below 2 and 0. Oh. That's right, only two plays, comment 2 and 0. Oh. And then number three, like the video. If we get the 2 and 0 oh sweep, I will cash up somebody $10. All right, LB, tell us a little bit about how we did a few days ago, I suppose. Yeah, uh, rough Friday night. Um, uh, we just found some – got hooked on a spot for uh, Courtney Williams. Um, she was really doing well distributing the ball, and the wings were really rolling. She didn't have to get out to too many rebounds because shots were falling in both ways. So she uh, fell short on her nine-and-a-half uh, rebounds and assists that we were on. Um, the Liberty just really got demolished, uh, unfortunately, as well. So Sabrina didn't get things going for us to get to our 20 points. Uh, Stewie was uh, a little bit listless as well. Didn't get to pass the ball as much. I think she only ended with two assists for us. We were looking for four. Um, just, just some tough spots. Uh, we, we did did get one to fall from the uh, from the other game, but uh, one and three on the day is is not the way to go. So, going to lighten the load a little bit. Uh, you know, we're trying to be mindful of everybody's bankroll. Um, I'm playing these same plays. If I'm losing, you're losing. That type of idea. So, I don't want us to keep losing and not uh, be ahead overall on the season and, uh, and and whatnot. So looking for just two solid plays today with some good juice and uh, going to look for some more plus money plays as these uh, playoffs continue to uh, get us back in the green. So uh, looking forward to today. Should be two good, great games today as well. Let's do it. Let's dive into it. The first game we're talking about, New York Liberty, 32-8 and eight on the year, taking on the Las Vegas Aces, who are 27-13. and 13. Um, both of these games are obviously nationally televised. Two o'clock Central Time on ABC. Both of our plays, official plays, are player props. And we're going back to Rihanna Stewart. Stewie on the year averaging 20.4 points, eight and a half rebounds, three and a half assists. And we're looking at her overall par. That is what LB's name is for. We're looking at her points, rebounds, and assists. 32 and a half. What are your thoughts on this one, LB? All right, so she has just struggled in this series uh, throughout the course of the season. Uh, obviously, she's had some huge playoff games, well over 30 points a couple times in these playoffs, and and had some pretty decent games um, once or twice against the Aces in the last couple of years. But overall, if you look at the trend, uh, her, her PRA uh, just falls short of this number uh, too often, uh, even in these current playoffs. She's really only had four big games out of the 11 total games so far, and uh, the other seven were under this number. So we're going to ride with that. I think one of the, one of the uh, situations that she finds herself guarding uh, Asia Wilson sometimes, and then uh, defensively she's getting met by her and, and just has trouble getting off her outside shot and uh, some other trouble um, – driving the ball the way she's used to as well. So I think her scoring can uh, can fluctuate in this series unless she's getting fouled and getting to the free throw line. Uh, she also has uh, struggled to rebound as often in this, uh, in her games against the Aces. So falling under 32 and a half for PRA is a good spot today. Say she gets 20 points, we're probably only looking at about six or seven rebounds. And then her assists would probably fall just short of that as well to stay under that 32 number. So I do like this spot uh, just to catch Brianna on the under. She could still have a what would still be a great game and still not quite clear this number for. So I think we're catching the books in a good spot on uh, Brianna Stewart today. Lock it in. Brianna Stewart under 32 and a half for points, rebounds and assists. 
as our first official play. Give us a little lean on this game. What yes. are your thoughts? The three and a half yeah. points right on the Aces. Yeah, looking at it, um, Aces defending champ. Uh, they really took care of business uh, Friday. They, they did get a great line for a second game at home. And I, I think we might have to lean aces in this one. Aces in the under 166 would be my other lean. Uh, I think it's a tighter defensive matchup. I think the the Liberty do come out and uh, get some more stops early. I don't see both teams getting too far into the 80s like that, so I would lean on the under that way. I think it's just an aces spot. Uh, they're in a playoff mindset. It's very different than uh, where they were playing, kind of middle of the pack during the regular season. And so this is kind of a prime spot for them to get a win and, and head back to New York. So uh, I would lean aces in this game to uh, probably I covered that two and a half point spread. Good deal. Good deal. Nice extra, some nice extra lanes for you guys. But yeah, officially yeah. we're just on the uh, player prop. All yeah. right. Moving on to game number two, we're looking at the Minnesota Lynx, 30 and 10 on the year, taking on the Connecticut Sun, 28 and 12. You've got the uh, Connecticut minus one and a half is favored. Uh, this game is right after at four o'clock, but it's on ESPN. So don't forget to change your channel. And we're looking at another player prop here, Bridget Carlton. On the year, averages 9.6 points, 3.8 rebounds, 2.2 assists. And we're looking at her rebound line here of 3.5. Break it down for us what you like here. Yeah, I, I just uh, – we were uh, looking for Elena Smith's uh, points and rebounds on Friday. That didn't happen uh, for her. She didn't score as much. She didn't get to the rebounds as much. But the uh, Lynx really rolled to a pretty good win. But Richard Carlton was able to rebound against this uh, Sun team. And uh, fairly easily at that. So I'm, I'm going back to some spots we had exploited before. We, we were able to get uh, some big rebound numbers against the Sun uh, in some regular season games uh, with the Liberty, or not with the Liberty, with the Fever and some other previous matchups, just because they really only have uh, A.T., Alyssa Thomas, and uh, Brianna Jones as well as their main two inside rebounders. So if a team like the Lynx with, you know, a pretty strong front court, can get to the rebounds, uh, then they would have the advantage. Uh, we saw Nafisa Collier get uh, a lot more rebounds in the last matchup as well. And so I think it would be Collier and Carlton uh, rebounding in this game. And I think they just gave us a low line that gets close to what her season average is as opposed to what her actual game log uh, looks like in this matchup. So I think we are catching a low number here, not too different than how we found uh, Laney Hamilton and some good spots with rebounds, but this three and a half rebound spot for, uh, you know, a formidable uh, front court player like Bridget Carlton, who's playing a lot of minutes as well. It's just too low not to take. So we're going to take advantage of that. Hope we get four rebounds in the first half and clear us out. Lock it in. Carlton over three and a half rebounds. And both of these plays look to be at a minus 114 as far as the juice. And give us a yep. lead in your thoughts on this uh, overall game, LB. The sun just really ran out of gas. Uh, the Lynx have a, have a very deep team. They can – put up a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of different matchup problems. They can increase their pace or decrease their pace. They're just in a prime mode right now, and it's it's hard to get in their way. I, I really don't see where all the pieces can come together for the Sun to, to get a win today. I think the Lynx are really locked in. There's been some press about Nafisa Collier wanting to taste that finals experience, and it's, it's coming into form for her in this squad. So I really like where they are. I really see them winning this series, and that will come from winning today. I, I would just have to lean links to, to take care of business today. Good deal, good deal. That's going to wrap it up. We've given you guys two official plays. Just to recap them, it is Stewie under her par of 32.5, and, and then Carlton over 3.5 rebounds. And then we gave you guys some nice bonus leans as well. But if you do want to qualify for the $10 giveaway, make sure that you subscribe, you comment, 2-0, and o, give us the good vibes. And then number three, like the video. And then before we leave, just a reminder, make sure you guys check out our other videos. We gave 10 free plays on our NFL show. Hopefully, depending on when you see this, you can still get that in. Uh, although, I know the uh, New York Jets game is early, and we are all on the uh, New York Jets. So get that one in, if nothing else. And then I gave no Jets. my uh, yeah, I gave away my player props for player props in the NFL. I posted that video yesterday. And then I also posted, I know it's early, a lot of you guys aren't in that mindset yet, but a, a Big Ten yeah. conference college basketball video I posted 
uh, yesterday as well. It's a longer video. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But uh, going over every single team in the Big Ten Conference, my predictions about where they're going to finish, as well as talking about riding or fading them against the spread, especially early on in the season. So check out that video. It'll give you a nice head start into college basketball. We're not that far away. All right, that All is right. going to wrap it up for us. Our motto on the show, of course, is to bust your bookie. Let's go for the 2-0 sweep today. All right, let's get it, guys.